Uh, we don't take it for granted. Um, it is a, an opportunity, and with such opportunity, we have to give God thanks and praise and, and just be grateful that he has afforded us to be here um, yet another evening. So I want to say thanks to Deacon Richards for leading out for us and uh, the praise team and Sister Eddie for praying. Um, I want to acknowledge Bishop in his absence and um, we just ask you to continue to pray for him and, his, and, his, and the family, all right, as he is not here this evening. I um, also want to acknowledge everybody. It's a, it's a good feeling to be here with you guys. I, I wish I was sitting like you guys, but you, know, you understand. Yeah? <laughs> but we give God thanks. We're going to be sharing together. I um, also want to say greetings to Reverend Oliver in the media room. And everybody who is, might be viewing online, we give God thanks that we are here to share together. Anybody who was at Bible study last Wednesday night? If you were here, just stick your hand up. All right, lovely. So I want one person. <laughs> We're going to do a little recap. Nobody wanted to stick their hands there. All right, so one person, just in a, in a, in a, in a minute, just share with, with us what you gleaned from last Wednesday's Bible study. All right, so I'm going to ask two persons, a male and a female, balancing, to just share quickly what you remember from Bible study last, last week. All right, use the mic, Sister Brad. Called by my name, who would humble himself and pray and seek me, then I'll heal the land. What I get from that as children of God, you know, we'll have to pray and seek God in the direction of our life. When we're in the world, we're worshiping the devil. When we come to Christ, Christ our lives, so we can't live without him, so you have to seek him for him to direct your life, and you won't go astray. As long as you seek me, the Holy Spirit, you won't go astray. All right, lovely, lovely student last week. Put your hands together for her. <laughs> All right. Yes, yes Brother Robert. Right. Good evening, yes, Brother Robert. Um, yes, Second Chronicles 7, verse 14. Um, so the bishop had um, spoke about humility. Um, that, and the, if I recall carefully, he made some points about humility um, and seeking the face of the Lord and after we do our part, then God will do his part, which is heal our land. And yes. Yes. Basically. Lovely. Good student. Put your hands together for brother Robert. Excellent. Yes, man. So we are going back to that scripture tonight. Second Chronicles 7 and verse 14. The easiest way to remember this scripture, 2 times 7 equals 14. All right? So you will always remember it. Second Chronicles 7, verse 14. All right? So we're we going back to it. If my people... All right, could we read it together, everybody? After two? One, two. My people who are called by my name to humble themselves and pray and see my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven Give their sins and will heal their land. All right. So you see that little word, uh, if. Little, but it is very powerful. No, Joe? Yes, man. So you see that word says, if my people. So still recognizing, God still recognizing persons after committing an act against him. You notice he said, still call them my people. Yeah? But it, it, it comes with a prerequisite, really. If you do this, I will do that, right? So it's the same. We, 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 we do it in our own lives. So if you get the 90% consistently, then you will get a treat. But it's not that what that God is saying, I'm giving you a treat. But he's saying that this is a prerequisite to something that has gone wrong, really. If my people, yeah? who are called by my name. But before we go there, I want you to jump to 
to this scripture, Proverbs 40 and verse 34. And then we are going to see how this ties in well when it speaks about my people as a nation and then talks to us uh, in Proverbs 14 and verse 34. What it says, Righteousness exalted a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. All right? So you see the two scriptures kind of tying nicely when it comes to if. So righteousness cause exaltation or bigging up. Not true? Yes, or, or putting up in high, high esteem a nation. But the reverse is true. Sin is a reproach to any. All right? So what is righteousness then? Before we go back to Second Chronicles 7 and verse 40, what in your view is righteousness? Run around the church. Right living, being holy. Yeah? So, so running around the church and jump three times is not righteousness. What about if I write, wear a nice little suit and dress nicely? And quote the scriptures quite well. Yeah, righteousness is right living in God. Can I make myself righteous? No. So, so it is no works of myself or any of us that cause us to, 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 to wear the title of being righteous. But it is the God himself, who, who Jesus who died on the cross, who shed his blood. Yeah, and because of him taking on all of that shame and all of that disgrace, we are now in right standing with him, right? So in that same regard, the righteousness that will cause us to get humble and seeking to pray, yeah? So, so when we become right in God and, and start to understand the principle of right living, then we are going to see a need to Humble herself as an individual and then humble herself as a nation. Not true? Yeah. So, so you, you have something we call corporate sin and individual sin. Not true? Yeah. So, 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 so the, the individual sin can affect the corporate living. Not true? So, so one little tip in the river cause an impact on the entire river, not true? Yeah. And then it offers many repercussions, yeah? I was listening to something last night on the television about the, the spill that happened in 2023 in the Raya Cobra in, in, in Jamaica, the, the effluent um, spillover in the river. And then because of that one little spill, it affected the whole ecosystem of the river. The fishes them start um, to die out. The crabs them start dying. Even the very lilies start dying. Yeah? And over time, things come back to some normality, but it took some time for it to become normal. So it's the same regard. Humbling ourselves, seeking God's face, praying, and then do a 360-degree turn. You agree? You sure a 360 you want to say? Or 180? You see me, I put some maths in it. Not true. Because if we do 360, we come back to original position. Not true? We go back right where we come from. But when we do a 180, we turn somewhere else. Yeah? So, so, so turning away from. So it calls us into action then. Not true? So it is not just saying we are turning but it must be demonstrated in action, in righteous living. Not true? And, and, and how can we maintain, through God's help, this righteous living? Through his word. Not true? Through praying, through fasting, and being obedient. And some practical things. If I see a brother or a sister in need, and I can help, I offer help. Not true? So, so, so those little practical ways we... We, we help a little smile and a little handshake and a little hello after church or how you're doing in the week, a little text message. 
Yeah? Those little things cause the righteous living that God helps us to, quote unquote, have, helps us in, in, in the journey. So, I want to look at some things before we go back into that scripture. So, there are several things that happen when the nation lives righteous. It causes something to happen, and I call it the four C's. Or three, yeah, four C's. It, it changes our character. Or, or we call it our nature. Or, yeah? So, so, so righteous living causes something to happen to our whole character. Yeah? So, so, so one time, Brother Robert would have put on the Bible and tell you a piece of my mind. But because now I am walking with God and he's helping me to have this righteous living, I understand that this putting down the Bible thing is not the way to live righteous. Not true. Or, or, or to allow God to use me to live a righteous life. Yeah? So the whole character of us, righteousness, it, can't, it, it helps us to, to, to maintain that. But also it affects our conscience and our attitude. That's the second C, our conscience. Yeah? So, so if me do something, when we know, say, can distort the righteousness that God has helped me with, it affects my own attitude and my own conscience. Yeah? So, so, so as an individual, I start to see myself as an ambassador for God. Yeah? A representative of God. So, so, so my attitude through the help of God is in alignment. Will I get this right all the time? No, not true. But it's because now I am seeing myself as dependent on the righteous one, the righteous God that will help me with my attitude. So character, my conduct, and my conscience. My conduct really is my action. What me do, Sister Orange? What me carry out? So, so I can say I have a good character and I look nice and I, and I possess and I say I possess a good character but when me start to go about and see sister Brian and say hey come out the road you know see me want to go to work and bring, and blow up the horn and my conduct you now and cut cross and yeah so, so so the conduct is not in alignment with the yeah how me dress and how me say it how me Write it down and have it on my res spiritual resume, so to speak. Yeah? So, use the mic, use the mic. Yeah, a brother chambers that. Yeah? And he, I may see him up the sun there, no? But so, so the, yeah, so the conduct of our lives must be in alignment with, with that. But then now, not only because we have this conscience, this conduct, and this character, but because it was commanded by God. Yeah? Because the word of God really speaks it to us. Yeah? So our whole life is, is, is being spoken to through the word of God. Yeah? So, so, so it is really the word of God really cause the character, the conscience, and everything to be in alignment. So, so the word says, we're with us. Shall a young man cleanse his ways, but by taking heed the word of God. And, and it is further reinforced, the word of God is a what? Light. Not true? And a lamp. Not true? What two words to use? Light and lamp. Yeah, yeah, the word is a light and is a lamp. What the lamp has? Oil. And it offers light. So it's, it is a double blow reinforcement, really. The word of God gives light. It brings illumination, but it also carries substance. It carries a reservoir so that it, you, 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 it, 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 the light is seen, but it is coming from somewhere really deep. So that's what the word does for us. So it speaks about, 2 Chronicles 7, 14, talks about, 
if my people, yeah, who are called by my name, humble themselves. And humble in itself is not just to look solemn and, um, and look reserved. But it is more than that. Not true? So, so, so being humble, and, and, and the word of God um, speaks about humility. So, so it says, God sees the proud from afar off. Yeah? And, and if God sees the proud from afar off, it implies that God sees the humble near. Not true? But remember, you know, God has 2020 vision. And he sees the proud from afar off. So that is saying something that, that the proud is not seen near up to God because he requires that we humble ourselves before him, realizing that we are really nothing before him. And, and we remember Nebuchadnezzar who was anti-humble, all up there, yeah? And what happened to him, he was humbled, not you? Yeah, humbled by God. So, humbling ourselves requires that we, we search within. Yeah? Really deep within and see that there is a need for somebody who is bigger than myself, who is able to exalt me or put me down. Not you? Yeah, and and then now being humble will cause us to rely on him, depend on him, and then being humble, he exalts you. Yes, brother Derby, use the mic here. Yeah, man, blessings. Good night, everyone. Good night, brother. Yes, Rev. So you're saying then humbleness will take us into obedience to God's word, then? Yes. Because um, as I always tell people, I always say that when people say the Holy Spirit will keep us, I always say to people that that which um, I always say that the Holy Spirit will keep us. I understand what people is trying to say, mm -hmm. but I see the Holy Spirit so perfect that if He would keep us, why is it so many of our powerful pastors and our brothers and our sisters backslide? Mm -hmm. So therefore, God gives the instruction. But it's for our humbleness to go in obedient to yes. God's word. Yeah. Because he gave us a free will. Right. Either we can stay, stick by his word, or we can walk away from his word. That's true. Yeah. I don't know if you get what I'm yes, saying. Yes, man, I understand. But if I, if my father, I used to ask my father, I used to say, then dad, I want to teach about God how God will keep us into his word and he will keep us from backslide and all of these things. And the God I'm looking at how he is so powerful. Why, as I mentioned before, why so many people backslide? Mm -hmm. So it all come back to individual and your humbleness to God. Yes. And the faith you want to go on with him. And I said to people that we have hard things, it's not just like work. The first time somebody gave me um, some work and then hand me some keys yeah. and then show me some containers and says, all those containers, you are in charge of them and X, Y, X, Y, X, Y. That drive me to the authority of Christ. So therefore everything is word says, it is free for us to obey. And when we obey, we propel God into a mood to do whatever we ask. Lovely, very good. So, so, so humility is a mark, is a hallmark of a, a Christian, yeah? So, 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 so we must remain humble. You know, there's a songwriter that says, Lord, if I'm too proud, bring me down, yeah? I think Grace Children sing that song, yeah? Yeah, if I'm too high, Lord, bring me down, yeah? So, so the, 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 the humility that we strive for is not just at face value, not, not just because we want persons to know that we are humble, but because we know that the God that we serve requires from us to be humble. Yeah? And this humility is not just for us, but it is for the nation at large, as we are going to see in this scripture. Humbling ourselves. 
Yeah? So, so being humble will, will cause several things to happen. God people must recognize that there are failures that we have in our lives. Yeah? There are mistakes that we have made. Yeah, there are some um, things that we have done that cause us to stray a bit. Yeah? Or maybe not a bit, but very far. Yeah? But being humble also allows us to realize, say, um, I can come back to this. You remember the prodigal boy? Yeah? yeah? So, 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 so hum being humble now made him realize that, yes, I was in a high position, really. I, I could say to servants, go and do this. Go and, and they would go because I am in high authority. But at a point in his life, he, if he, he, he left that in charge positions, if you want to see. And he wanted to see the world. But he came to himself. That's a mark of humility, not you? He came to himself and acknowledged, said, boy, I am at a wrong place. Yeah? I, I, I need help. Yeah? I, I need to go back to... And yet, he was so humble that he said, I need to go back home, but I don't want back the position. Yeah? I'm going to say, Daddy, I am wrong. See that? Say, go back and he... It's, it's, it's really like the Bible says, he humble yourself and pray. He went back to Daddy and said, forgive me. Yeah? And he made up his speech together. Uh, I will go back home and I'll say... I, I have, I'm wrong. I have I made me one of your hired servants. Yeah? And then um, um, daddy in his authority did not put him back as an hired or put him as an hired servant. I'm coming to you, Sister Sibis. I see your hand. But rather dressed him up because it was coming from the heart. Yeah, it was coming from a place of, of pureness. So he understood that he was saying what he was saying and acting in accordance. Both of them were in alignment. Yes, sisters, siblings. Yeah, go ahead, man. One of the things that you said we have to, mm -hmm. it's something that you have to acknowledge, come to yourself. Yeah. And, um, and he went back to his father. But one thing that comes to me is that the father was always waiting on him to come back. Yes. But the Bible said he saw him coming from afar. But um, it takes a coming to yourself because even though the father was waiting, the father didn't went go go chase for him and go looking for him. You know, and bring him back. He had was to come to himself, realize that I need my father. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing sometimes when we stray and the enemy will try to keep us out there. The father is waiting. Um, we have to acknowledge and make a move in turning, turning away right. from and going back. Lovely. Yes. Brother Brown? Yes, man. <laughs> All right. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, man. I wanted to, from last week when Pastor raises something came to my thought and I wanted to. Um, as it relates to, but from verse 13, mm -hmm. um, where he says, if I shut up, and then verse 14 says, if my people, yes. as you men made mention about the supposition. What I saw, and I, I'm putting Deuteronomy 28 with it, okay. where God says, yes. if I lay before your blessings and yes. cursing, and then it's if the, if the, if the, if. Right. But, when I sat there last week, what I realized was that God has set his precepts and his laws. Mm -hmm. And that's why the Bible says he never changes. Yes. He set his precepts and his laws and he operates by these laws. Yes. And I was looking at it and saying, even if if I commit, I won't use myself, if somebody commit an act of sin, as merciful as our God is, by the laws and his attribute that he said, he must deal with that sin. That's he nice. basically had no choice. Mm -hmm. Because he has said that if, if you do wrong, mm -hmm. 
it must be dealt with. Yes. And God has no choice but to deal with the wrong, the, the re repercussion mm -hmm. of that wrong. Yes. With all his love, he still has to deal with sin. And it comes back to the mere fact. That's why Jesus had us to go to the ah, cross. Lovely, lovely. Because sin has to be dealt with. Yes. God has no choice. Yes but to deal with sin. So I, those, these two verses, 13 and 40, tells, I see the law and the precepts of God that is set and just cannot be changed. Mm -hmm. If you do good, good follow you. If you do bad, it follow you. Yes. You know? That's, thank you. Yeah, man. Lovely. So, so, so true. Thank you, Brother Robert. Anybody else want to, to say something before we move on? Yeah, man. It's a discussion. All right? <laughs> All right. So, so we talk about commitment, too, not true? So, 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 so being humble also allows us to, to make a commitment in futuristic plans, really. So we, we recognize where we are. We recognize what we have done. But we also make a commitment to, to turn. Yeah? So, so, so just as the prodigal son did, he made a commitment right so 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 being humble causes us to do some things so it moves us into action really so so after being if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves it now also calls us to pray you see it now so 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 we recognize where we are the state that we are in yeah and in such a doing or act of humility, after summing up everything now, we say we're going to pray. So the best place to start praying is, or the best persons to start praying for would be for myself. Not true? To say that, Ralston, you need to go to God. You have messed up. And because of your mess, it is impacting your family. It is impacting your community. It is impacting your region, your district. It is impacting your country. So you see how it is, it is, it is broad. So it, it, it is not that it is just messing me up, but it is affecting those around us. Not true? Remember first, you know, it says, let your light so shine so that Others will see. Not true? If you break the bulb, and not just the bulb won't stop shining up, but it is impacting around the room. So those around uh, see no light again. So everything that we do, even if a God alone sees it, it is affecting. Others. So we therefore need to pray. Sister Marley, your hand was up. Our sister. Um, Please, you know, sorry. Um, yeah, as you made mention of the things that we as an individual do yes. that affects everybody around us. Mm -hmm. And it brought me back to Sunday school and um, mm -hmm. the lesson Sunday oh, yeah. morning. Talks about being obedient. Mm -hmm. Talks about love. And um, um, I was saying to somebody in the night before that even as a family unit, when we married, we are no longer a single unit. Mm -hmm. So you can't just get up and say, okay, fine, I am going to walk out of, or you're going to do something, because it's not just impact on you, but it impact on the wife, it impact on the children, if mm -hmm. the if children is involved, yeah. it impact on your church, it yes. impact on your friends and your family. So, you know, it as what you men made mention mm -hmm. just now, so whatever it is that we do, it don't just happen to us only it happened to everybody that is around and that's why it's so important for us to obey the word of God so that we can walk in his precept. As um, Brother Brown made mention yeah, of bringing Deuteronomy 28 into yes. it and we can also bring in Leviticus chapter 26 verse mm -hmm. 3 when it says if you walk in my statutes and um, keep my commandments and do them then this is what I will do. I will cause rain to fall. Oh. I will cause your family to, to multiply. Mm -hmm. So when we when we are looking at the word of God, we have to take it literally and do it's a practical thing that we have to do. Mm -hmm. And he said, if you do this, this is what I will do. 
So we can understand, okay, fine, I'm going to live the way how I want to live and expect to receive the blessings of God in the process. It don't work like that. Lovely. Very good. Very important point. So the, 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 the essence is that we, as a, as a people, we don't really exist by ourselves. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, we, 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 we are in a, a global community, so to speak. And as a, as a spiritual unit, what we do impacts everybody. Yes? So, 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 so the call is to humility and to prayer. So, praying for self, praying for family, praying for community, praying for every person. If my people who are called by their name humble themselves and pray, but why did God say pray and then seek? What's the difference? Yeah, go ahead. Use the mic, Sister Petisa. Repentance comes in the prayer. So you can go seek him when you mess up. Yes. You can seek him when you mess up. Yes, mm -hmm. because you're going to seek him and then you're going to acknowledge and repent. But repentance is when you pray and then you start to seek God. So whatever it is that I do, I have to say, Lord, um, if you harbor iniquity or if there's anything that is in me going to ender this prayer now from reaching to you, I'm asking you to wash me. So I first have to make sure that I repent before I can seek God and someone else, as they were saying just now. All right. Lovely. Thank you. Your hand is up, Samantha. Sister Samantha. Sorry. Yes. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Yes, just looking again at humility and just the verse 14 mm -hmm. the 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 humility is really a, a post i see it as a posture i see it as a state that we can be in so it is it is a state of submission or total surrender it's yielding everything to god and if we look again at this state of submission, yielding and letting go everything to god we realize that if we are really submitted then we must pray if we're submitted at all to God, we're saying, all right, God, I cannot do this on my own. So our only alternative at all times is never looking to ourselves. It's never looking to anybody else. But that posture of submission will always lead us to pray. And in praying, we're doing the next thing that follows, which is the seeking his face. There's no way we're going to pray. We're not seeking God's face. After seeking, if we're at all, we're in submission, yielding and surrendering praying and seeking his face, then naturally the next one comes, which is turning. We, can't, we, we, can't, we cannot be wicked if we're always <laughs> seeking God's face. We're always praying. We're always surrendering and yielding to him. And of course, naturally that state and that posture of surrender, then we will hear from God. So it is a total dependence on nobody else but God. It is where we come to a state where we realize that, boy, God, it's nobody else. It's nothing else that I can do but to look to you. And even in that parable where the young man came to himself all along, his eyes was away from God. He was not submitted at all. He was out there. And in fact, the, the scripture that says that um, he sees the proud afar off. It is really, it is really we who go away, you know. Yeah. It is really we who go away. And so it says that the God you know, being be the father in that parable, he saw him from afar off. So it's, he went away. So it's when we're not humble, we actually take ourselves out of his presence, where we're not surrendered at all. But when we get to that state now of yielding and surrendering and letting go of ourselves, then naturally everything, we are in the state that he wants us to be. He takes us back into his presence, just to share yes. there with you. All right, lovely. Thanks much. Yes, so so sister Anse, you know me a countryman, not you? <clears throat> yeah, so you guys know Barbie Yam? Yeah, man. So so if you go to a field and, and, and decide to dig yam, the Barbie Yam no no grow in a tree top, you know. It grow in the soil, not you? And before you can reach to the Barbie Yam, you have to draw your loss and you have to cut a bush and weed with all sorts of things, not you? And sometimes, not only down on the ground, you have to weed with, but if you decide to stand up, so maybe some things around you, you have 
chop down and clear out before you can. I saw him call it, Brother Richard. I hung around. What you need to clear up first before you can go down, to seek for the Bobby Yam. Not true. So this clearing up and this cutting away is really praying to God and say, boy, one chop. Sorry, daddy. This morning we mess up. Two chop. You know what I mean when I say chop? Oh, good. Yes. So, so you're clearing away. You're praying. You're moving away. And, and that the praying away, you're really a humble yourself, meanwhile, you know, because you can't hear see the thing. I said, boy, Bobby, come to me. You have to clear away the place. And you have to be patient and humble yourself and clear away the trash and the, the, the all sort of whist and curry before you go and start seeking. When you start seeking now, you get the, the far brother derby. You start plow, not you? And sometimes when you plow, you, you might find some nice little soil and you just uh, ride the fork. But sometimes you buck up on some stone and you have to do some little clearing away again, not you? So you, you, you have to still, so, so in seeking, you still have prayer, you know, because you, you, you desire, so you want. A barbie with some nice curry chicken back later, brother Robert. So, so your desire, this curry chicken, you know, man, and the, and the curry chicken back is, a, is, a, is the reward, really, you know, with the barbie yam. Yeah? But we have to do some work. We have to use it. it you, and you realize that, that the, the, the tools are there. Yeah? You have to use the tools. Yeah? So the tool that God gives you, the, the, the for the cutlass, your mouth and your heart, and the picker, yes. So, so those tools, you have to use them. Say, God, help me to use my, my mouth in the right way. Help me say the heart of the heart, the abundance of the heart, the, the mouth speak. I clear me, I clear way, no, not you? Yeah? Yes. And you have to know your, your attitude, not you? Yeah, man. <laughs> yes. Yes, sister. Use the mic. Use the mic, Sister Stewart. Yes, man. You have a nice voice. You can't hide it without the mic. <laughs> yes. Good night, everyone. Good night, Sister Stewart. After you seen clear in the way, mm -hmm. so forth, you take me back to Psalms 51. Yes. And he said, have mercy upon me, Thank O you. God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercy. And he go on again and he said, wash me mm -hmm. from my iniquity. Yes. For, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. And he could go on mm -hmm. and on because he acknowledged it. And he was so sincere mm -hmm. that he goes... He go on and on. He said, um, for I acknowledge my sin and my sins is ever before. Lovely. You know, so you know, we have to just be sincere in everything we do. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Yes, man. So the prayer, yeah, it, it, it clear up things for you. Not true? And then now, after you pray, you seek. Seeking is intentional, you know. I don't know, buck up something where you just go out and mango bush and you say, oh, me buck up and want mango, me want it. But seeking is deliberate. Yes. And you, you make up your mind, say, me I go search for this, and me I go seek for this, and this is my intention, the deliberate act of, of, of doing it. Not true? So, so it is not like you say, boy, me I go do it. Because... Brother Derby, I'm a Sunday school teacher, so he said, if you do it, so I'm going to do it. No, but it is a decision that you come to yourself. You realize, say, so you really have to do this to have God with you and for the end product to be a reality. Yeah? You make up your mind. Very good. So, so you, you're seeking now. Seeking is something diligent, you know. 
very active and persistent. Not true? Yeah, man, you, 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 even when you not see it and it look like, and somebody I say, give up, no man, you not say no did they inside. No, but you are deliberate and you say, me need this, and you are seeking for it. Yeah? So, so, so this seeking comes with humility too. It, everything tie up together nicely, you know, because you really have to be humble for seek for something consistently, even when it is not at face value. You can just reach up and take it. Not true? Yes. Yeah, man. So seeking God is, is, is really a hard cry, really. And a, mm -hmm. That's it. Use the mic, Sister Stewart. Yes. <laughs> yes. I was saying, you have to really, really sincere. Mm -hmm. Because when he said here, creating me a clean heart and renew the right spirit within me. Yes. Without the right spirit and a sincere heart, it doesn't make any sense without that. And it said, cast not away thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. So, you know, yes, yes. he was sincere mm -hmm. David, because he knows that he was doing something wrong, yeah. he asks for forgiveness, and he also asks the Lord to restore him. Lovely. Yes. And remember, the, the initial part of the verse is, if my people. So, God still see us, even when we mess up. Yeah? Because, as Brother Robert said earlier on, that Jesus paid the price for us. And this grace and this mercy is still extended. Yeah? And, and that's why we can't take God's grace for granted. Not true? And just run up and say, God, pay feet already so we can start, do all sorts of things and say, God, Jesus paid it all. Yeah? But we have to maintain that relationship with him. Not true? Yes, man. And constantly seek, seek my face. Why seek my face, though? If you look at that in context, why... God says, seek my face. Anybody? Anything came to your mind why this was used? Seek my face? Mm -hmm. See again, use the mic, Sister Brian. have a relationship with us mm -hmm. and so for, for you to have a relationship you have to seek his face have to, because if you want to marry to a young lady you have to seek to know about her character her background yes. everything so you have to face her right you don't have to just go jump to her you have to know what's going on before some person in, in the background and you married and you're sorry so you want to seek him and the more we seek him, is the more we want because you open, you cut in the way. The more we seek him by praying and fasting, is when we clear the way we have, we have this joy, we want more and more and more. And when we get in contact with him, then we have a good relationship. All right. Thank you very much. Anybody else? Yes, Sister um, Patricia. Yes. Um, we could look at um, seeking God face has to be our desire. It's our desire, because if we don't have the desire to seek him, we, we won't do it. Mm -hmm. So seeking God has to be a desire for us, because we know that if we don't, then we won't get the change that we need in our lives. All right, lovely. Brother Derby, I see you want to say something. Oh, Sister Arnsby, go ahead, and then Brother Derby. Okay, mm -hmm. when I think of seeking his face, mm -hmm. I think the Lord wants us to come boldly before his throne of grace. Mm -hmm. Boldly, I mean, if you're seeking God's face in, um, in doubt and fear, yes, you know, we must fear God. We mess up when we want to seek his face to get redemption. At the same time, he wants us to face up to what we have done and seek him boldly to get right. receive mercy from him. All right. Thank you very much. Yes, Brother Derby, and then I give my perspective. Go ahead, Brother Derby. Yes, Reverend. Yeah, man. I see, I see him as seeking as your source. Mm -hmm. You must see him as your source in everything. Mm -hmm. 
when you look and see, um, I'm just gonna give an illustration. Yeah. There was this guy in my district, he left from the district and he went to St. Anne and lived. But his name was Peter. But everywhere he goes, uh, he give his name as Slippers. <laughs> and his father died and his mother really wanna get, it, get um, to his son. Yes. And so the mother went to St. Anne and she took the whole day seeking for her son. Mm -hmm. And even in the yard that her son lived, she went. But when she asked for Peter, oh, nobody buddy. know Peter. Mm -hmm. Everybody nobody know him as slippers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this woman was seeking so diligent to find his son. So the mother seen his son there now as a source to come help. Mm -hmm. But because of the wrong that his son do, he couldn't find him. And uh, I look back and sincerely in the heart. Um, I always look on the unsaved and the Christian. Yes. I think we as Christian grow to a part where we should come to sincerity. But looking on the unsaved, sometimes when the unsaved um, came to the altar and they said, yes, I accept Christ, mm -hmm. they don't even mean it. But as the journey with Christ one day, yeah. the second day, the third day, and go on a little bit, they mm -hmm. started to know him more and more. So this faith started to grow. They start to experience who Christ is. Yes. So I think now they start to grow into this sincereness of Christ. Mm -hmm. um, the last who said, you know, he said, when, was it Tamara Blake preaching? No, the, la the other man that preached. Oh, and he yeah. made an altar, altar call. Mm -hmm. There were four young ladies went up and a young man. And I sat in my seat and I were observing what was going on. And, and this is not into it. I'm only sharing this who God is and how I feel. Yes. And four persons put up their hand that they saved. And they mm -hmm. call them up and they pulpit and says, yes, when the church were rejoicing over the four. And we would say yes sincere they give their heart to Christ mm -hmm. but the one girl that stand up down and wouldn't give her heart to God ah they are plea to this girl to give her life she just stand up and she not saying nothing at all they are plea all of a sudden I just hear when she scream out and the Holy Spirit just throw her down and fill her with the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. that's the one who never put up her hand now we really know ourselves would be saying what's wrong with her man why she won't give her life? But she was the one who was sincere, directly looking to God. So that was sincere is that as we come to know him more and more, if I'm right, I think mm -hmm. we will get to get more sincere with him. All right. So we see sincerity coming in play again. <clears throat> Sorry. But look at it in terms of when you, you, you're making an apology to somebody, where is the best place to look? when you're apologizing for, for something that you're doing. Right in the face, right in the eyes. Is that true? Face to face. Yeah? Eye contact. And you're making the apology. Not that an apology cannot be sincere. Not looking in the face. Yeah? But you're seeking face, looking for relationship, as brother, as sister Brian said earlier, and you are making yourself a bold move, as sister Orangeby said. So you see all of that coming, and with sincerity at the heart, you are tying all of those to say, I am seeking you, Lord, with all my being, and I'm coming face to face with you because I am wanting to make the wrongs that I have done right. And I'm doing that with all sincerity, with a heart of humility. And I'm praying to you, and I'm seeking your face. And then now, with all of those actions, you decide to turn. That is very important to know. So, 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 so you, you, you pray, you seek, you humble yourself. But with all of those, you must make another important action. You must turn. Yeah? And, and you must turn and say, boy, you know, turn back in this thing, you know. 
So, 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 you, so, you know, but I see, come pray, I say, all right, God, I'm gone back where I did I come from. But you turn now and say, I recognize all of those things that I've done that were not in alignment with what you want me to do as a person, as an individual, but not only as an individual, but as a nation. Yeah? So you see the importance of, at times, calling solemn assembly as a nation, or prayer, we call it um, um, nationwide prayers. Yeah? Because the important is that what we do as an individual, as I said earlier, and as a community as a nation it impacts where we are so we must always seek god as a nation so that's why we we, we can't individualize our prayer life you know god help me help my family let let this family be blessed and let the you know, be like hedge around me be like hedge around my family that's a good prayer yeah, but it must be extended to the community and, and the Cayman Islands that we live. We can't live in the nation and pray for ourselves and cuss off the nation. No. Can't be selfish. Can't be selfish. Yeah? You must pray for the nation and pray that God rises up godly leaders. Not you? Yeah, and whoever is in leadership, we have to pray for them because the Bible says we must pray for those in authority. Yeah, because in fact, nobody can go in authority unless God sanctions it. Even if the person are behave bad in authority, the God sanction it, and there's a purpose that he's, he or she is there to carry out something that God wants to reveal and God wants to allow that person to carry out. Yeah. No one can go in. So no matter how me big and mighty, I say, hey, you have to vote for me. If God does not sanction it, it will not happen. All right? So, so, so seek and turn. And it was explicit. What you were doing, what we were doing, I never not nice or, or nothing good. Turn from our wicked ways. And sometimes our ways become habitual and we, we need to, to, to really we don't it to reach to the, the, the yam so root did it we want to go to the yam but we have to root out some, something to go to the yam not true sometimes the dirt dry and tough and if you're dry so it, your back is going out so you have to go back and say we're going to catch some pot so water, wet it up for soft, you know, not true? And go back. Because it is clear, you know, and the little, little, and it is so wicked, it's a powerful word, you know. Turn from our wicked ways. And from, if God say wicked, the wicked, you know. Yeah? So, so turn from your wicked, our wicked ways. So all of that turning. Act of humility, act of seeking, act of finding God and allowing Him now to take control. Not so. Sure. That way I say, no. Let oh, me, me take you out of my hand now, Daddy. And I put it into your hands. And I am making you lead me as a little child, just lead me. I am so dependent on you now. So I want you to lead me. I want you to. To show me what to do. So, so, so what are going to happen now? Our conversations are going to change, you know. Because with that act of humility now and our act of turning, we want to say what God wants us to say. We want to do what God wants us to do. Yeah? But, but if we look carefully, it says then. So look at the word. If, start. And then there is a semicolon not true that means the, the thought not finished yet so when you do all of those humble yourselves and then yeah will i hear from heaven so 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 look at this so you you see if all of those things don't take place you know say so we cannot pray and he, and and god who has hears and not can stop him from here Then will I hear. 
So, so what was God doing before? If we were in our wicked ways. We are prayer. But God can hear everything. But he just not hear them. But, he, but are, were we praying though? Not sincere. Yeah. So, so we're doing. Yes brother Derby. Use the mic, brother Derby. Yeah. As my brother mentioned before, that yes. I have a standard that is ah. set. So a standard that's set is for us to release it by the way we conduct ourselves, mm -hmm. the way we're obedient to him. So therefore, if I'm not living by God's words, when I pray, put it this way, when I pray, God, he hear. And if I don't, I uh, hear everyone's prayer. <laughs> yes. But the standard is their set yes, man. for us to follow. Mm -hmm. But therefore, for God to release his blessing, for God to act on our behalf, is it we first go to the standard uh -huh. of God's words. Lovely. Yes, man. Go again, Brother Brown. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Um, chapter 14 brought mm -hmm. me back to a very well-known passage of scripture that, yes um, baffled me and this is nehemiah oh yeah. yes nehemiah chapter one there above mm -hmm. and he was the cop here yes well well off mm -hmm. a matter of fact if my memory serves me right he wasn't even born in israel mm -hmm. yeah. he was born in babylon, babylon in the exile so he was the cop here so he was well all right but we're speaking about humbling ourselves ah. but this man took it upon himself and yes. become burdened yes. for a nation far away, for ah. the nation of his fathers. Mm -hmm. And I see he pray and he says, God, I pray to you day yeah, and night. night. I confess our sins. But he wasn't the one that sinned. Ah. Mm -hmm. And so as we talk about humility, you know, it's like the night I was praying and, you know, I was praying and I said, someone, one mind said, pray for Jamaica, you know, and I begin to pray and I find myself saying because we are murderers and I'm like poor me you know? <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes yes you know, I never yeah, murder but... anybody yet but mm -hmm. it's what he, he took upon himself uh, he humbled himself yes and, man ever, well that happened to me in church and pastor might say come to the altar and you know because you have sinned but oh brother brown me nice me sanctified yes. me mm -hmm. but he might never did that he saw himself as a sinner. Yeah, man. He took upon himself, he humbled himself and began to intercede yes. for the nation, nation. Mm -hmm. even for sin that he did not commit. Mm -hmm. And I see a level of humility that That's I am praying that I get that, yes. that I can be not minding my own business, as you said earlier, mm -hmm. and begin to humble myself and pray for other people yes. and the you nation are. and mm -hmm. anything that affects God yes. affects me. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah, the Nehemiah come back, he humbled himself and pray for that which he should have anyone that business and live in good nice. Yeah, man. But he took it upon himself to pray and beseech God on the behalf of other people. Yes. Lovely. Very good man. Say again. Ah, lovely. Yes, man. Humility. You see, you see the, the, the power of understanding that we are not our own, really. Uh, and we are not by ourselves. And for me, gardener, bloom nice. And me no business about the other gardens. Yeah? Because, guess what? If one disease attack the garden when I bloom good, I feel the nearby, it is going to impact there. Yeah? So we, we have to take care of everybody, Kalalu. Not you? Yes, man. Yeah, man. Show compassion. Turn. Then will I hear from heaven. Good? So, so, so the prayer is heard from the throne room. It is there and it is heard from the throne room. And, I, and then will I hear from heaven and will forgive. Forgive their sin. Because now we you know, this is a, 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 go back to David now, it is a, a, a hard cry, it is a, um, a reaching out, and it is a surrendering, and an acknowledgement that we mess up big time, we mess up as an individual, as a nation, we mess up as a country, 
and I am humbling and coming back to your daddy. I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins. Yes, Brother Stuart. Yes. Get a, get a mic for him, Brother Robert, please. Good evening to everyone. Good evening, Brother Bro. Hi. Brother this, uh, Stuart. Yes, sir. This is a powerful verse here tonight. Yeah, man. What I would like to say. Save my people. Mm -hmm. Which are called by my name will humble himself and pray. Yes. And seek my face. You know, and turn from their wicked ways. Then he will hear from it and I will forgive their sin and heal the land. I believe when I think the Lord hear our prayer, we pray and the Lord hear our prayer. Mm -hmm. But what's stopping our prayer? We don't believe what the Lord said. We just come and we pray. And we do not believe. I'm not judging no one. Yes. Because I, I can tell you that is that is our problem. We not believe what the Lord said. Yes. When I say if I shut up heaven or set send pestilence or locusts upon the land, if my people who call by my name ah. and we hear and we heal the land and we send rain. Yes, man. And I prove it. Yes. I prove the Lord that He is faithful. Faithful. To his yes. Way. There's no impossible. Sorry if I'm out of line. Oh man, go ahead, brother, brother Stewart. That go is a, a word that we should really look into, and mm -hmm. I prove this, 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 this verse. Mm -hmm. Prove it. You know, this yes. is not something what we take life. It's a serious thing. Yeah. If you want to see the Lord work, make we just believe. Yes. Just when you pray today, and you and something will work for you. You're, you're going back to the whole way. Pray and ask the Lord to heal me. Wow. And yes. if the Lord not heal me, you still, you, 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 you say, the, the Lord, no, not for you, you be, disbelief. Maybe the Lord don't want to heal me, but you still pray and believe say that the Lord have a reason why he don't heal me. Yes, yes. So you still not give up. You believe that yes. the Lord will do mm -hmm. the work. So you don't have to doubt. Yes. You know, just believe. Has the Lord him to think it's every, every, it's every world back heaven, no rain or fall. Mm -hmm. And my people who call by my name will humble and pray and send rain. Yes. And that's a, that's a strong word. Yes, man. I believe the Lord. You know, I, when I, I went to something, when I come back here, man, I went to the rocket. I don't drink ordinary water. Mm -hmm. I rain water, I drink. I can't. Okay. Yes. And when my sores go down, I always come and I pray to the Lord and I always send my source. Yes. So my, I don't run out of, out of source of the Lord. I have a source of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So yes. I prove the Lord. Yes, man. You understand? I'm a living witness. I'm a living witness to the healing power of God. Right. And I see miracle upon miracle, miracle upon miracle working. Give me money for money to walk here. It's a miracle. Mm hmm. Bless you, Brother Stewart. Yes, man. So when we pray, we must believe. That's Sister Sharon. Oh, Reverend, Reverend Davis. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Good night, everyone. Good night. Er there is so much of this tonight that, you know, I can identify with. I yes. was in prayer meeting this morning when we were dealing with the Lord's Prayer. Yes. We see so much of this coming out. Yes. We cannot be selfish. Mm. Yes. Yes, ma'am. In our prayers, we have to be concerned, as I was telling them this morning. Yes. Be concerned about what is happening around us, our mm -hmm. nations, mm -hmm. our community that we live yes. in. We have to be concerned. Yeah. And as people of God, everything that happens, even if it is happening in another nation, yes. I'm having a feedback here. Even if it is happening in another nation, mm -hmm. it might be far away. Yes, but it behoves us to pray. That's it. Yes, yes. because what happens somewhere else will eventually 
affects us. Yes. And so we have to, so I was tell them, telling them, when we come to pray, be spiritually connected. Mm -hmm. Listen to what the Lord is saying to us. Yes. Listen to where he is taking us. You know, and as my brother mentioned, Nehemiah was concerned. Yes. Yeah, he wasn't actually the one that was doing the thing, but he was concerned because he lived there. And you know, I heard Bishop Delford Davis said something the other day while the election was going on. Yes. There was this Christian woman who was praying a kind of prayer, <laughs> calling one party yeah. a certain name and lightening it onto something in the Bible. And he was saying, he was wondering, is this a Christian woman, mm. woman praying this? Yes. We all live in Jamaica, and if one party feel, the whole nation feel. That's it. So when we are praying, we have to be concerned. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And when we look in the community of the church, you can't say me no business. No, that's it. Yes, that's it. and we often use, me not care and my business that is mm -hmm. our business. Yes, yes. You know, and somebody sent me a clip this evening about prayer. I was listening to it, but I was watching Champs at the same time. So <laughs> yeah. I didn't finish look, um, looking at it. But the first part of it said, we complain and we talk about what we have to pray about. But are we looking at what Jesus did? Yes. That it is Jesus that made the way for us to be able to pray. That's it. And mm -hmm. that was so powerful to mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. I am going to go home and I am going to finish listening. It is about four minutes or so. But I know it's something on prayer. Yes. The person sent me and I was trying to listen. to, But I got the first part of it. And I said, oh my God. That is so powerful. Mm -hmm. When we think of what Jesus did on the cross for us, That's all it. of that, that is in mm -hmm. first, Second Chronicles 7, 14. 14 yes. If my people which are called by my name would humble themselves. Mm -hmm. If we remember what Jesus Christ did on the cross, yes. we will humble ourselves, yes, we will pray, we will seek his face and we will turn from our wicked ways. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then he will hear from heaven and he said he will forgive us our sins and he will heal our lives. Yeah, so yes. we have a responsibility. Yes, not mm -hmm. to be selfish as Sister Petitia said. Yes. When we come, we have to be concerned about others. Mm -hmm. Not yes. just my request. Yes. Yes, be concerned about what somebody else is going through. Mm -hmm. The request of our community, our children, our nation, yeah. everything come into place. That's it. When we have good home, we have good church, yeah, we have right. good community, mm -hmm. we have good nation. Yes. So it, it is our responsibility to be concerned about what is happening around us. Lovely. Very good. Yes, yes, Brother Derby. Yeah, man. Well, um, nobody I call Mr. Stuart King. Yes. When you were talking, <laughs> I laugh. Yeah, man. And sometimes somebody saying something and you laugh, it might think. But the reason why I laugh is what he was saying. And what he was saying, he actually were talking, saying, John 3, 16. Mm -hmm. For God so loved the world, that whosoever believeth in him should not. not. Mm -hmm. So what you were saying, the word believe there is not to say with our head, I believe, but we must move by action. Yes. So I just want to say that. So brother, that's, that's why I laugh. You were saying the right thing. Yeah, man. Lovely. So you see the importance of the community understanding that we impact each other and we are, we are our brother's keeper really, you know. Yeah. yeah? So, so you hear about the, the, the watchman on the wall, yeah? So, so, so we are really watching each, body, each person with our prayers, really, you know? So, so even when somebody is under the pressure, so to speak, we should be the watchmen, the watchwomen on the walls, praying, yeah? The watchmen, the watchwomen on the walls, praying for our nation, yeah? And we put ourselves in the group. Brother Robert said, the murder of me. The murder of us. Yeah? The, the, the sinners, us. 
help us, Daddy Jesus. We, we, we see ourselves and, and, and understand that is a united nation praying for God to change. And, and we are turning together. Not you? We turn in as a, a body, as believers, and a body as a nation turning, and then the result will come. God will hear from heaven, He will forgive our sin, and the healing of the land will take place. You see that? So, all of the things that we are doing is to impact you know, my little quarter acre <laughs> or whatever acre. But the healing of the nation, the healing of the land will take place. Yeah? And we can look at the land in terms of us as persons, but the land also in terms of the nation at large. Yeah? So the healing comes. What is healing? Deliverance. That means that something was not working so right that caused an misalignment or some sort of pain no really if if somebody is is in pain they say i need healing not you yeah or or something is going wrong we say pray for me that i may be well so healing comes with wellness not you and as wellness comes with wellness as a nation and things that look out of work becomes in alignment not you so if I have a back pain, I used to walk a certain way, not you? And I, when I sit in a certain posture, I feel the pain. But when healing comes, I walk up straight, not you? And what was causing the pain is no longer there. The pain is no more. So, so healing causes a turn, really, or a change, a restoration, Yeah. So, so sometimes this healing causes you to go back to the former way of movement or even a better alignment. Or sometimes persons get healing and they say, this back you feel better than it was before. Yeah? Because, see, hearing from heaven, God has forgiven the sin and as a result, the healing of the land takes place. Yeah? And this impacts every aspect of the land, you know. So, so, so some things where you see look barren and look like no hope, no, did it? Because healing comes now. You see how fruitful it is. So, so you see um, fruitfulness in behavior of, of children at home or how they react to, to, to situations before there was a hearing from heaven a forgiving of sin so the healing now impacts family circles it impacts relationship oh I talk to my neighbor across the fence because there's a healing now so I see myself bigger than um, I'm just me over here so I'm in a business of my neighbor fence a pop down but because you have a turn within heart yeah, yeah, yeah. The heart turned towards others. So we see everybody as equal. Not you? Uh, and we see this turning now impacts our work relationship, the healing. So, 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 so boss talk to employee well, and employee talks about boss well. Not you? And, and this cohabitation, this relationship, because there's a healing that has taken place. So, so if the physical body is sick and healing takes place, that means blood start run through vein good again, not true? Yeah, um, capillaries start work good again. Cells are say, yes, man, come and work together and get rid of this. And something in the blood say, hey, something come we not deserve in this body. We are work together and we are get rid of this. So what happened? You hear one sneeze come. Achim! Reaction, I get rid of something in the body, yeah? Or you, or, you, or you see some something happen to the body, yeah? You, 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 you get in rid of something because everybody in the body has say, hey, one good with the pan, you know? We now nah, make nothing go down. This is a country, you know, go down, yeah? I throw a fist of prayer because we know the mastermind who want to divide all things, not you? 
we know say Satan no one cause us to be proud and big up ourselves and know and pray and know and seek God. So we are agree, say we come in together. We are we are we are we are fight against the, the common enemy. And that is where we need to understand, you know, the common enemy is Satan. And he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. The land destroy us. Yeah? So, so, so that's the common enemy who want to destroy us. And, in the, and he does it in all sorts of ways. Yeah? So, so when we come, you notice it says, my people. So it's a united thing, you know, really. And uh, not just Robert, Brother Robert, to come and pray. But everybody, we are in this thing together. Yeah? You think part of rice can cook and next part no cook and, and you say I go share it and, and, and everything must cook good. Not true? Sure? So that it can be, you can enjoy it and eat it. Yeah? But if part of it no cook, you <laughs> Yeah. Samuel that says, me, me no one support you. <laughs> but you have to understand that everything, we are in this thing together. And we have to pray for one another. We have to, we have to really be radical, you know. And sometimes we have to, to put on ourselves and say, we now pray for ourselves and pray for some, somebody else, you know. Yeah, leave ourselves. And sometimes when we leave ourselves, God sought out us. Because we are praying for other people. So, so it says pray without ceasing. You know. We must always be praying for one another. You know. and, and this is my passion really. So you might see me get very, very high. <laughs> yeah? We must be praying for one another. Praying for the nation. Pray for one another. Sometimes some persons can't utter a word. You know. Sometimes me can't utter a word. You know. I say, God... I wonder if somebody will pray for me. You really need the help. Yeah? And, and that's why we have a prayer for all the government leaders. They need the perfect carry them. We must be praying. Yes, Sister Siblings, you were saying so. Thank you. Yeah, man. The prayer, we go in our closet. Go in at somebody's house where you see the tears. And you know, go there. But the prayer, go there. And, and you feel it. Somebody say, oh, me feel so. Because somebody will pray for you. Yeah, man. Sometimes you feel dumb, but so after a while you feel like you say, you say, I want to go on to this body. Because somebody way over way way. Depending on you and say, remember Sister Hardin, the whole daddy Jesus. You, you see her where she sit down, you know where she is. Do you know? Pray for somebody. I want everybody to understand that we 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 are brothers and sisters. And we can't look from afar off and say, you're gone. I feel your time now. I did it night before. I feel your season now. Bear your season and bear your bones. No, I feel your bones. We have to pray for one another. Because we are in this thing together. Yes, sis. Mm -hmm. Yes, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Prayer go away where, where, where we can go, you know. Yes, brother Derby. Yeah. Not true? <laughs> yeah, just say something. Prayer go where we can go. Yes. So, and, and first, when you were talking about the Bobby Yaman, yeah, mm -hmm. how it was saying, yeah, and man. Clear the book. I were looking and taking it a little bit further, uh, the spiritual realm. Mm -hmm. That cutting all those bushes, the adversary in the ear. When we are going to pray, yes, we are make sure getting this way clear for the man. Yeah, yes. And um, just cutting it short, when I look through everything Christ says, when He says, "Because I tell you, no, I uh, oh, I am going to no, start to pray, but I will pray the Father." Ah. So what Jesus was saying there, Jesus was saying there, as my sister just says, physically, who no can't tap into eternity, but I am going to allow ah. my heart to send you something. Mm -hmm. That will tap back into eternity. Yes. So when you pray on earth, you now enter into eternity, yes. into the spirit realm. Mm -hmm. So that's why when we look at chronicle, when we do all of those things, if we not come to the fulfillment of those things, then the little principalities and power just key and say, "Where you going? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when we obey ah, the word of God, that's deep, yes. Then mm-hmm. principalities and power have to give way. God give way, man. Yeah, purpose. yes. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, man. That's so powerful. A deep something that you know, brother Derby. Yeah, man. Your 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 prayer gone up, and the devil have to say, "Well, this I come from way down a belly bottom. A hard prayer this." So, yeah, and the prayers are answered. But we have to understand that there is an enemy who is attacking. Yeah, but he can't stop it, you know. Can't stop it. He he, he, he he might try to delay it, as with Daniel when he, his prayer was prayed and it was it went to heaven, but the answer was on its way but the, 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 the enemy the prince of Persia yeah wanted but God is always prevailing in a man so that's why we have to uh, even if when we are praying we feel like it a bounce back off our roof you know I say boy I don't feel like nothing now going on pray the same way yeah man pray and sometimes you have to go so mm, so like mm, and, and we don't understand what we are saying, but it's the Lord Jesus, help me, help me, help me. And, and, and it seems like we, we can't, it, it just seems like it now going away. But Jesus know what's going on, you know. And he, and he might take on those, go, mm, and those, go, oh, and he said, and oh, Lord, God help me. And he's carrying you because he knows that it has come from the heart. Yeah, so I know, like, I know only like a pretty, pretty prayer and, 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 and putting the words in the correct places like a puzzle piece. I mean, no, if it fit it, here. but when you ball out, Master God, Jesus, help me. When your back is against the wall, hallelujah, and you cry out to Jesus, and, and, and somebody in your corner say, Yes, daddy, and I support you in a prayer. God will help you. God will come through for you. you, you uh, we, we are not alone. God is with us and we are more than conquerors because we trust in a powerful and mighty God who is able to carry us. Humble ourselves. Seek his face. Pray. Turn. And he will hear. He will hear from him. He'll forgive our sins, man. Yeah, man. He'll forgive our sins. He, and he will... He will, he will heal our land. He heal our souls. Yes, Sister Harding, as we come to a close. You, you give, give Sister Harding a mic, please. Yes. For the, for the audience who might not be here. Yes. I, I, I think the Holy Spirit is right here tonight. Mm-hmm. Oh, powerful, yes. powerful. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I think the church has everything to move on. Yes, ma'am. The church has everything to move the nation. Mm-hmm. But I think one of our main problems is our unity. Mm. We're not staying together. Uh. Every time we, we, we get a little move up, somebody come in the midst and pull it down. And another thing I find that is affecting us badly, mm-hmm. if we see something that is going for example, if you see a, a brother making a wrong move, we not have the, the guts in us to, to approach the person and say, you know, say that's something you know, right? Or, you know, you, 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 you shouldn't do it that way, you should do it another way. Instead of that, we carry it over the song and we tear and we pull and we, 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 we mess up the whole yes. thing. And when the, the brother here or the sister here, they, they feel so bad and so embarrassed that maybe they don't even want to come back mm. to church. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yes. But when we do it the way the Bible says we would do it, man, we get, we get a better effect. Yes. And, and, and things we move on. Because unity in itself is, is an anointing, you know. Mm. What Psalm 33 say? It's like... 133 says like an anointing right. that flows from ear and beard go down to his skirt. Mm-hmm. And the Bible says when brethren are together, yes. because I believe this same church of God can move Cayman Islands. That's you know, true. Can evangelize this country. Mm-hmm. Somebody says that, pardon me? Even the word. Mm-hmm. Somebody says that a nation is not a Christian nation until the head, the head the head, mm. one, declares it to be a nation, a Christian, Christian nation. nation yeah. So even though we, we are praying and we are 
We want to hear our leaders stand up and say, this country is a Christian nation. Mm -hmm. We believe in God. And we are not going to allow so and so to happen in our nation. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't we like to see that happen? Yes, yes. Yes, that is what I am praying for. Mm -hmm. I would love to see this nation be a Christian nation. Yes. When I look out, I was watching TV today. And when I saw the little Cayman Island, in this big body of water. I say, my God, mm. so we can't take a tsunami. We couldn't yes. take an earthquake. Mm -hmm. Not true. Yes. We don't. So we have to keep on the prayer line and keep the togetherness. Mm -hmm. Let us work him for the togetherness in the church. Yes. Thank you, brother. Yes. Chambers. Bless you, sister Hardy. I mean, you make me feel like a giant tonight. God, God be praised. God be praised. Yes, man. So as we come for our close, we, we encourage each other. Pray for somebody tonight. Yeah? Pray for somebody tonight. They, they, they know that there is still somebody who loves them and is praying for them. All right? So God bless you. And, and, and trust and hope that you have a good rest of the week. And uh, we are going to be closing now. I'm going to ask Reverend Davis to just come and lead us in prayer as we, we, we bring the curtains down. All right? Thanks for coming out. And remember to keep our bishop and family in prayer as well. Bind us together, Lord. Bind us. Could we sing that together, please? of somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come, Janet. Hallelujah. Amen, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We worship you, Jesus. Together with love. Hallelujah. Can we shout a praise to the Lord? Let us lift up the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us glorify the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord, mighty God. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. Father, we lift you up and we glorify you. We praise you. We exalt you. We magnify you. Here I am before your presence tonight, not even worthy. I'm just a vessel, God Almighty, available to be used by you. And as I come before your presence, oh God, tonight, on behalf of these, your people, I pray, Holy Spirit, that you will wash me one more time. Cleanse me from all sin and all unrighteousness. Empty me from all impurities. Ah, burn the dross out of me tonight, Jesus. Send the fire down from heaven and burn the dross tonight out of us, God. Father, we look to you. We worship you. Oh, God, we magnify you. 
We stretch our hands to you tonight. No other help we know. If thou should withdraw thyself from us, whither shall we go? The songwriter said, where could I go? Hallelujah. Where could I go? Seeking a refuge for my soul. Needing a friend to guide me in the end. Where could I go but to the Lord? And so, Father, we come to you tonight. Oh God in our nothingness Mighty God we are unworthy We are undone But because of your grace and your mercy Even though we are common people We can come boldly to the throne of grace Hallelujah You have made it possible Oh God you have given us access And so tonight we come to you. We thank you for Reverend Chambers who have expounded the word of God. Second Chronicles 7 verse 14. Oh, if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves. Oh, pray, seek your face. Turn from our wicked ways. You will hear from heaven. And you will heal our lands. Forgive our sins and heal the land. Tonight our land need healing. Mighty God of Daniel. Oh God the Cayman Islands of which we are a part. Oh God need healing. Jamaica need healing. The Caribbean. The entire Caribbean need Need healing. America need healing. Canada need healing. The European countries, Australia, Asia, the entire world need healing. God, we have forsaken your laws and your precepts and your statutes. And so we come tonight bowing before you. We say, Forgive us, Lord. We have failed you. We have fallen short, God Almighty. Oh, we have strayed away. We have gone a warring. Mighty God, have mercy upon us tonight, God Almighty. As a church, a community, the body of Christ in which we belong. Sometimes we live so wretched. Oh God, we live so unrighteous. We live so unholy. Oh God, we fight against each other. We bite, we tear down. But tonight, one more time, we come and we say, Lord, have mercy on us, God Almighty. Individually and collectively, we come before your throne tonight. And we say, Lord, forgive us. Forgive us for where we have gone wrong. Oh God, teach us how to pray one for another. Teach us how to love each other. Teach us how to love our neighbor as ourselves, mighty God. You said we should confess our faults one to another and pray one for another. And so tonight, God, we lift up each other. We lift up the government of this country before you. Oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, spirit of the living God, you know everything that happens. Oh God, in the government administration and so God we pray oh God that you will raise up some godly leaders God when we look at the situation in Jamaica oh God they just had a sitting in parliament and oh God the leading government walk out oh God of the budget debate and the opposition that is a disgrace to the nation we pray for these men we pray and all of this is because of sin they don't know your god they don't know how to pray they don't know how to seek your face oh god almighty they don't know how to humble themselves but tonight we pray for them it is our duty we that know god and we that know what the word of god says 
to pray for them. And so we put our prime minister in Jamaica. We put the leader of the opposition. As they continue this debate, mighty God, we pray, God Almighty, that you will intervene. Oh, God Almighty, and as a nation, we will have respect for each other other oh god you see the corruption you see the disunity you see the disrespect oh god when leaders behave this way what are they saying to the nation and so tonight as a nation we have failed we have failed as a nation and we pray that you will have mercy have mercy have mercy upon the nations Lord, I put families before you. Oh, mighty God. Families. You institute families. Oh, God Almighty. You said the family that prays together stays together. Sometimes the enemy creep in. Oh, God, and destroy family. But tonight I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you will intervene into families. We break generational curse. We break cycles, God. Some things that are following family from generation to generation. We break it down in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. What follow our four parents will not follow us. And let it see something good, mighty God. We pray that you will break chains and break fetters. There are some things that are happening among family members. It's unbelievable. Families killing each other. Oh, merciful God. We have no love. We have no mercy. We have no compassion. Holy Spirit of God, bring back the love in the hearts of your people. Tonight I lift up every individual that is here. Every family that is represented here tonight. You know our needs. We are of different personality. We are from different places, from different, oh God, backgrounds. But the blood of Jesus Christ as make us one and so tonight god those who are aching those who are feeling pain oh mighty god i pray for healing and deliverance those who are struggling to make it i pray that you will make provision mighty god some persons are without a job i pray that you will open up doors some are faced with difficulties on the job i pray that you will teach Teach them humility and give them the strength, the endurance, and the tenacity to go on in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Some get, are getting weak and weary along this Christian journey. But you promised never to leave us nor forsake us. You said you will be with us even until the end of this age. We declare tonight that we are more than conquerors through you who love us. Hallelujah! One shall chase a thousand and two shall put ten thousand to flight. So tonight we come in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, your word declare that the weapons of our warfare, hallelujah, are not carnal, but they are mighty true God to the pulling down of strongholds. We pull down every stronghold of the enemy. Habakos. Hallelujah. Oh God. You tell us in your word that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against principalities. Against powers. Against the rulers and darkness of this world. And against spiritual wickedness in high places. Hallelujah. We are fighting. Oh God Almighty. Yes, it is one devil. It is not my brother nor my sister. It is Satan, old dragon. But you have given us power and authority to trample upon him. You have given us the keys of the kingdom. And you say, whatever we bind on earth. Ah. 
is bound in heaven. Whatever we lose on earth is loose in heaven. So mighty God, give us the spirit of praise and worship. You said when the enemy comes in like a flood, your Holy Spirit will lift up a standard. Will lift up a standard against the enemy. Habakosa. Hallelujah. The enemy of our soul that comes to destroy us. Bind us together. Oh God in love and in unity. Go with us. God as we go to our several places of abode. Remember Bishop. Oh God Morris and his wife tonight. I pray for them God. Man and woman of this time that you have set to lead us. Oh God we pray that you will undergird them with your right hand of righteousness. Remember the supporting ministers. Remember the officers. All the leaders in this great body. Oh God Almighty. Holy Spirit of God. We have a work to do. And so God help us to do it. And to do it well. It's not by might nor by power. But it is by the spirit of Almighty God. You said to Zerubbabel. This great mountain shall become a plain and so tonight Jesus we come in the mighty name of Jesus oh God you said if our faith is but as small as a mustard seed we can say to the mountain be thou move hallelujah into the midst of the sea and it shall be done we set a reverse Ah, we back back every dark cloud of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You are already defeated, Satan. The blood of Jesus Christ is against you. The name of Jesus Christ is against you. And the host of heaven is against you. So tonight, God, we commit everything into your hands. And we thank you for that which you have done among us. And we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Can we just give a praise to Almighty God as we... Hallelujah. He's worthy of praise. He's worthy of honor. We give him thanks for tonight and we give him thanks for his love. Yes, if you have an offering, um, we're just going to ask you to make a contribution. As you know, the Wednesday night's offering go towards our, our soup kitchen. Yes, man. Bless you. And um, just a reminder. All right. So we have several meetings tomorrow. Women's Ministry, Life Builders, Sunday School Meeting uh, on Thursday night. So... Inviting every person out. Yes, so we know we are going to see what that balance out tomorrow night. All right. And on Friday night, we're inviting persons out to we will be having a, a discussion on evangelism, winning souls. So we're inviting individuals out as well for Friday night. And remember, Sunday evening is the concert, the choir concert. So bear those in mind. All right. Bless everybody. So let the words of our mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and redeemer. Amen. Bless this offering, Lord, and I pray that you'll bless the use for it which is intended in Jesus' name.